let's talk about efficiency before proceeding further go through the videos on ratio and proportion if you haven't already so a more efficient person will take less time to do the same work as someone who is less efficient the more efficient you are the more work you will be doing in less time this is practical observation right so if you are more efficient you will be doing more work okay and if you are more efficient we can say you will take less time to do the same work so you can write time is inversely proportional to efficiency time is inversely proportional to efficiency if you are more efficient you will take less time to finish the same work so if efficiencies are in ratio 2 is to 3 efficiencies of two people a and b are in ratio 2 is to 3 time they will take to do the same job alone will be in ratio 3 is to 2 it would be inverse of that of efficiencies okay it will be 3 is to 2 this is clear right also the more efficient you are more work you will be able to do each day okay if you are more efficient you will be doing more work each day and rate of work will be inversely proportional to time needed to finish the work so efficiency is directly proportional to rate of work efficiency will be directly proportional to rate of work rate of work is what work done per day so if you are more efficient you will be doing more work per day efficiency is directly proportional to rate of work also uh, rate of work will be inversely proportional to time needed to finish the work more work you do each day less time you will need to finish the total work so rate of work will be inversely proportional to time taken to finish the work so these are very practical relations and these are all you will need to solve problems based on efficiency so let's solve a few problems a is 20% more efficient than b and can finish a piece of work in 55 days so we have a and b here if efficiency of b is 100 a is 20% more efficient efficiency of a will be 120 okay these are efficiencies instead of 100 and 120 i can write 5 and 6 right and rate of work is directly proportional to the efficiency so instead of efficiency i can write rate of work rate of a and b will also be in ratio 6 is to 5 and time taken by them will be in a ratio inverse of that of rate of work time taken is in inversely proportional to rate of work so ratio of time will be 5 is to 6 okay a takes 55 days to finish the work that means this 5 on ratio scale corresponds to 55 days in actual so there is a multiplying factor of 11 involved here and we have as we have seen in ratio and proportion topic the the same multiplying factor will get multiplied here as well we will get the time taken by b to finish the job as 6 into 11 66 days okay moving on to second part of the question how much time will they take will they together take to complete the job when a and b are working together so for this case i'll take a b and a plus b when a and b are working together rate of a we have got here as 6 rate of b is 5 and we can add the rates this we have seen in this topic so far that rates can be added or subtracted okay so when a and b work together their rate of work will be 6 plus 5 11 all right next we are going to compare a and a plus b so i'll write a and a plus b here uh time taken by a and a plus b will be in the ratio 11 is to 6 because their rates are in ratio 6 is to 11 time taken will be in ratio 11 is to 6 this 11 on ratio scale corresponds to 55 days in actual okay 
so there is a multiplying factor of 5 involved here which will also get multiplied with this 6 giving us 30 days as the final answer when A and B work together to finish the job. So this is the procedure to solve such questions. We start with rates and rates could be added or subtracted. Then we move on to time that would be inverse of the ratio of rates and we get the multiplying factor by using the information, the extra information given in the question and the same multiplying factor gets uh, applied or gets multiplied to all other ratio values. Moving on to the next question. A takes three times as much days as A and B together to finish a piece of work. So we have A and A plus B mentioned in the question. If A plus B take one day to finish the work, A will take three times of one that would be three days to finish the work. So time taken by A is three times that of A and B together. So rate would be inverse of that of time. Ratio of rates would be 1 is to 3. And as we know rates could be added or subtracted. So rate of B will be 3 minus 1 that is 2. Okay. Next we have to compare B and A. So I will write down A here and B here. Uh, rate of A and B are in ratio 1 is to 2. This we have got in the previous part of the question. So time taken by them would be in the ratio 2 is to 1. Time is inversely proportional to rate. Now extra information given in the question is that B can finish the work in 4 days. So this 1 corresponds to 4. 1 on ratio scale corresponds to 4 days in actual. So there is a multiplying factor of 4 involved here which will get multiplied with this 2 as well giving us 8 days as the final answer. Next question. A is thrice as good as worksmen as B. In how many days will they together finish a job which A alone is able to finish in 60 days less than B. Okay. So we have A and B. A is thrice as good as B. So if rate of B is 1, rate of A will be 3. If B finishes 1 unit in 1 day, A will be able to finish 3 times of that. A will be doing 3 units in 1 day. And we also have A plus B mentioned in the question. So we will take A plus B. Rate of A plus B will be 3 plus 1 that is 4. Rates could be added directly. Now ratio of time. Time is inversely proportional to rate. So time would be in ratio 4 is to 1 is to 3. Right? This is wrong. Inverse and reverse are two different things. Time would be inversely proportional to rate. That means ratio of time would be 1 by 3 is to 1 is to 1 by 4. This is what inverse means. Now LCM of 3 and 4 is 12. So we can multiply this ratio throughout by 12 and we will get ratio of time as 4 is to 12 is to 3. Okay. Moving on to uh, last statement of the question. A alone is able to finish the job in 60 days less than B. So on ratio scale A takes 8 units less than B. And this 8 on ratio scale corresponds to 60 days in actual. So there is a multiplying factor of 60 upon 8 involved here which will also get multiplied with this 3 and we will get 22.5 days as the final answer when A plus B work together to finish the same job. Okay. Last but not the least. An interesting question. A takes thrice as much time as B. So we have A and B compared together. A takes thrice as much, uh, as much time as B. This is the ratio of time. And B takes twice as much time as C. So a comparison of B and C is also given in the question. B takes twice as much time as C. 
सो इफ आई हैव टू राइट कंबाइंड रेशियो ऑफ ए बी एंड सी दैट वुड बी वन इज टू टू इफ सी इज वन बी इज टू इफ बी इज वन ए विल बी थ्री इफ बी इज टू ए विल बी सिक्स दिस इज द रेशियो ऑफ टाइम रेट इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू टाइम सो रेट्स वुड बी इन रेशियो वन बाय सिक्स इज टू वन बाय टू इज टू वन एल सी एम एस सिक्स आई कैन मल्टीप्लाई दिस रेशियो थ्रू आउट बाय सिक्स रेट वुड बी इन रेशियो वन इज टू थ्री इज टू सिक्स ऑन मल्टीप्लाइंग दिस रेशियो थ्रू आउट बाय सिक्स ओके नाउ आई हैव गॉट रेशियो ऑफ रेट एज वन इज टू थ्री इज टू सिक्स एंड वॉट आर द पैरामीटर्स मैंशनड इन द लेटर पार्ट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन C works alone and C takes eight days more than that taken by all three working together. So A plus B plus C is also mentioned, and A plus B is also mentioned in the question. So I'll take C, A plus B plus C, and A plus B. Okay. Rates of C, A plus B plus C, and A plus B. Rate of C is given here as six. Rate of A plus B plus C, we can add their individual rates. That would be one plus three plus six is ten. Rate of A plus B is one plus three, four. Okay, and I can further reduce it by taking out two common. I can take out two common from this ratio. It will become three is to five is to two. Time is inversely proportional to rate. So ratio of time would be one by three is to one by five. Is to one by two. Okay, don't make the mistake of writing it as two is to five is to three. It would be one by three is to one by five is to one by two. It should be inverse and not reverse. Multiply by the LCM. LCM is what thirty. So time would be multiply throughout by thirty. Time would be ten is to six is to Fifteen. This is the ratio of time. Ten is to six is to fifteen, and uh, C working alone can finish the work in eight days more than that taken by all three working together. So uh, on ratio scale, C takes four units more than A plus B plus C. Okay, and this four on ratio scale corresponds to eight days in actual. Okay, that means the multiplying factor here is of two. so this 15 will also get multiplied with 2 giving us 30 days as the final answer when a and b work together to finish the work so uh, this is how it works once you have written down ratio of time and ratio of rates focus on the parameters required in final part of the question like here we had uh, c and A plus B plus C and A plus B mentioned in the question. So focus on only C, A plus B plus C and A plus B. Okay, just care about the rates of these three only. And this is how we use ratios to solve problems related to efficiency in time and work. Keep in mind these uh, few things. First of all, on ratio scale, rate of work can be taken same as efficiency. Okay. and secondly time taken will be inversely proportional to rate then uh, to take inverse don't just take reverse of the ratio take inverse of each value okay inverse is not equal to reverse and lastly rates can be added and add only those rates which are mentioned in later part of the question rates could be added or subtracted okay keep these four points in mind and you will be able to solve all the questions related to efficiency and time and work thank you